welcome back to Nuffy Cat. Yerashaimase. Nuffy Cat, hey, Yokoso. Two ways to say welcome in Japanese. We're so glad that you can join us today. In today's video, we're going to talk about a famous kitty that was really amazing, who was actually has a very unusual name, and he was named Room 8. Well, there's a big reason for that. So Room 8 was a beautiful, beautiful tabby kitty that actually reminds me something of Nuffy. He became very famous when one afternoon in 1952, a neighborhood cat just wandered into the Room 8 at Elysian Heights Elementary School in California, in Echo Park, California. The children absolutely loved him and began enjoying him every day. He actually got really famous and he became known all over America. He lived at the school during the school year and it was interesting because during the summer he would disappear and then he would come back shortly after the school year started. It got to be such a big deal that news cameras used to come, newsmen used to come outside of the school at the start of every new school year to see when he would show back up. Absolutely amazing. They had a special student that would be named the cat feeder every year. And it was actually regarded as a really special position in the school. And people just let him be a part of the school. And very interestingly, people used to write him letters. They said that people would write up to 100 letters a day to it that were addressed to room 8. So he actually lived to be 21 years old. He had gotten injured in a cat fight when he was older, and so some of the neighborhood neighbors had taken him in. And it was really neat because the janitor was known for carrying him over to their house across the street every single day. So he had originally been born in 1947, and then he didn't pass away until the 13th of August of 1968 at the Lockhart Animal Hospital in Hollywood. He has a memorial to this day that is in his honor at the Los Angeles Pet Memorial Park. He was featured in a documentary called Big Cat, Little Cat, and there's even been a children's book written after him that's called A Cat from Room 8. And it was really, really cool because the teachers, even to this day, they have they will read that book to the new students that are coming to the school. And he has a wall memorial that has a mural of him that they still have at that school. In 1972, there was even a, an animal shelter that was founded after him called the Room 8 Memorial Foundation. I think that is all just so heartwarming. It's just amazing what one little kitty can do in this world and how much they can inspire us to do wonderful things like this. Oh, yes. Also, he has paw prints that are in cement on the sidewalk that are outside of the school that still exist today. And I'm really happy that they've kept that for him all of these years. To me, Room 8 is a testament to our love for cats. Back even in the 1960s like that, it's just so heartwarming that he gained all that fame all the way back then. And how much more do we love cats now? Yes! I feel inspired to share the story of Nabisco, Oreo, and Ginger Snap in my family's past. We lived in Covalo, California. Uh, this was 1985. There was some young children that came up to us with these three kittens, and they had said that their father was going to drown the kittens in the river if somebody didn't take them. Well, we took them. We were a family that moved every year, so they moved with us, and they got to live in Covalo with us, Willits with us, Redwood Valley with us, and up north where we live now in Northern California with the Redwoods. All of you who take the time to love cats, it's very, very worth it. They are so wonderful in our lives, and they've literally, literally been with us for thousands of years. So even though Room 8 had quite an unusual name, he was quite the unusual kitty.
Yes. And I thought that Nefertim, who we also call Nephi Cat, and Nephi is a nickname as well, had an unusual name too. <laughs> but I think Roommate takes the cake. <laughs> well, thank you all so much for sharing this video with me today. I'm really happy that you watched this. Thank you so much. If you like the content of our videos, don't forget to take those like button. You can paw the subscription button and you can paw the notification bells so that you can see all of Nephi Cat's videos. Well, thank you all so much and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you. Have a wonderful day, everyone.